Welcome to Lubeck 4 and OS Graph uh, Library Integration to get a GraphQL server in minutes. What is OS Graph? It's a library that turns AP described by Open API specification into GraphQL interfaces. You can find out uh, their GitHub repository there. Uh, it, was, it was built by the IBM Research Group. An amazing work, amazing library. It's just been released as open source. And Lubeck 4 is the framework which is fast, small, powerful, extensible uh, in the core, uh, where you can actually define data sources, models, repositories, basically create applications or microservices exposing REST API endpoints. So how these two can work together and why OAS Graph can actually um, deliver to a currently available Lubeck 4 application. Okay, Lubeck 4 uh, basically is an integration framework uh, to build applications or microservices uh, to integrate uh, software services from legacy systems, REST, servers, REST services or databases such as DB2, MySQL, PostgreSQL, whatever in the, in the enterprise. So you have different services and, and, and repositories that you would like to actually uh, consolidate into a single framework and expose it to mobile applications, then Lubeck 4 is the right tool to do. It generates open API specifications. Uh, currently, it's creating a REST server. So the REST server generated here by Lubeck 4 is used to actually communicate with different clients talking REST uh, protocol here. Um, Okay, so the open API specification that Lubeck 4 uh, generates is the key point here because with the Lubeck 4 and the REST and generating the open API specification, we can use the amazing library OS Graph uh, to actually receive this open API specification. If you have been working with Lubeck 4, you will know that every time we start a Lubeck 4 application, there is an open API.json file that you can actually review, that's the open API specification. But here in this slide, in this example, we're going to be using an internal method from Lubeck 4 to generate uh, that open API specification and pass it over to OS Graph as a library. Then the OS Graph uh, take this open API specification and converts it automatically and magically into the GraphQL schema. This is an amazing work. You know, um, and then this GraphQL schema is then used to feed Express GraphQL. Express GraphQL is going to be used as a middleware of Express to generate magically also the GraphQL. Okay, so look back for one open API specification with the help of OS Graph library can speak now REST and GraphQL automatically. There in this example, we're going to actually make some minor changes to the application so that this diagram here, specifically the open API specification, feeding the OS Graph library and the OS Graph library feeding uh, the GraphQL schema to the GraphQL server. That's the only thing that we have to do. We will not change anything in the business logic and still we will be serving our customers here. Client applications such as the mobile uh, applications, or IoT devices that can now um, that can speak REST or GraphQL is up to them. Now Lubeck 4 really speak both um, terminologies here. Okay, more information about Lubeck 4 is here in this website before Lubeck IO. And let's start by actually installing the Lubeck 4. You will need Node at least version 8.9. You can go there in, into the website to actually. Uh, get updated information about this installation. But for now, as the time of this presentation, you just install using npm install globally at loopback slash CLI. Once you install it, we're going to use an amazing CLI tool with an option called example to generate a to-do list example. Once you run this command, it will scaffold just uh, press enter to everything, you know, in the options, it will scaffold the to-do list example. Once you um, generate or scaffold this example, you will have to actually change to this directory. 
uh, it's loopback for dash example dash to do dash list and from there you will need to install two dependencies right now okay the first dependency is the OS graph itself so you really need to install it and the second dependency is the Express GraphQL which is going to be the middleware used by Express you don't need to install Express because Express is already there in loopback 4 okay so after these comments are executed you need to start modifying the application the first modification or the first update here is in the source application TS we need to actually um, write this line here before the we call the super um, options in the constructor for the application this tells the open I, open API specification that we need to uh, define a server this is the location of the Luba 4 application uh, in production or here in the development why this is really important let's see the next slide if we specify this in the source application then gra OAS graph um, schema is going to have the content to the right so it will tell the the GraphQL server where the resolvers can, can be found the resolvers for a specific types in the schema if we don't place this then the GraphQL server will not know anything about any endpoint inside the loopback for application so it will not work so this is really important once we do this let's start actually modifying the second file and the last one which is the source index first we need to actually define our um, constants here so we have one constant for OS graph one for Express and one for the GraphQL um, Express GraphQL server which is the middleware sorry the GraphQL HTTP is going to be the constant name so we have OS graph Express and GraphQL HTTP that's in the header in the source index inside the loopback for application once we have that we need to generate the schema object from OAS graph we're going to use a method called create GraphQL schema inside the OAS graph library notice here that uh, this is an asynchronous method so we are using the await and it will be returning that and will be receiving by the schema uh, constant if you go to into their website you will see that we they also have report and with some more some more options but right now for simplicity's sake uh, let's just generate the schema here and one thing important to note is that the create GraphQL schema first parameter is the app reserver get API spec this is specifically from loopback 4 and it is telling that the specification the open API specification is going to be sent or fed uh, to the create GraphQL schema this is really the glue between the Luba 4 and the OAS graph library as stated in the previous diagram so Luba 4 is basically feeding the OAS graph library OAS graph library is producing the schema which is in the constant schema now in the next slide we're going to start the GraphQL server we're going to use the schema generated and we're going to start an express server on port 3001 using um, express GraphQL as a middleware along with the schema generated already but magically by OAS graph so here is the code we generate the express we mount the slash GraphQL uh, point uh, we are using GraphQL HTTP as a middleware and it's getting feed by the schema and another option called GraphQL so this is GraphQL is the browser based query language here uh, we're going to to see it in the demo and then we are uh, uh, starting the server on port 3001 and displaying a nice message in the console so this is basically this part of the diagram where the OS graph library was generating the schema and passing that schema to the express GraphQL okay so in, in the the full code will be in source index just before returning the application we just have this nice try and catch again this is not the official uh, example this is my personal example from the weekend and you can actually do whatever you want with it enhance it etc right okay so let's go 
to the demonstration to see how it works. Okay, uh, now let's review the code. We are here on the look back for example to do list. Uh, you already actually place run this command. And second, you change to this directory. And the first thing is to, uh, was to really install the dependencies. So we install the OS graph uh, and save it as a dependency. And then we install the Express GraphQL, install it as a dependency. After that, uh, we will uh, basically do some changes to application TS. And the only change here in the source application was to modify the options before calling the super options. We specify where in the runtime we're going to be located as a loopback for application. Um, role uh, is resolver in this case. And secondly, we need to modify the index.ts. In the index.ts, we uh, create the three constants, one for OS graph, one for express, and one for GraphQL, express GraphQL in the GraphQL HTTP. This is gonna be the middleware. Remember, we didn't have to install express as a dependency because it's already there. Then we um, actually have this try and catch block after we start the server and before we return the app. So in the middle, we create this. So this is the only piece of code that we had. We explained this already. The only thing is that we had a typo in the in the slide. Uh, the listen method in the final slide was omitted. So it was deleted somehow. So you need to actually call listen here, remember? And that's it. That's the only thing. And after that, all we have to do is uh, run npm start. It's going to be working fine. Um, it's running right now. It's compiling, trans transpiling and okay let's wait okay so it's running right now and you will see the two nice messages one is uh for the server and the other one is the console log that is being displayed after um, the express is being mounted on the port 3001 or is being actually initiated on port 3001 slash GraphQL. Now let's see how this nice application can deliver both REST and GraphQL queries. Good, uh, so we have here uh, the browser. This is the GraphQL application. If we are querying uh, the do list with ID1, we are returning the title. Uh, you, you have here the the this uh, help on to the to the right it tells me that i can also um, query the child here for the child we're going to do the to-do list to do and we're going to ask for the title so we are asking child detail about this to do if we click run then we will get it here we can also use that in the rest in this case we are querying the to-do list number one we can go and, and change it also. However, the magic here is that we are receiving it in the in the GraphQL query language, and we are talking to the same loopback port application. We can change this here and do all this here. And you you can go with mutation um, methods also, and this is it. So we are all, we are finishing right now our presentation. So you are you are actually talking to a lookback for application from REST and GraphQL clients. And we actually did a minimal amount of change in two uh, source files, the index and the application with the help of the OS graph library. This is possible and for me, this is magic. Thank you.